Have you ever considered how powerful beliefs can be? How they can shape not only our perspective of the world, but also our actions and reactions. Welcome, dear listeners, to this exploration of the fascinating world of beliefs and the power of an open mind. Picture for a moment a bird trapped in a cage, its wings clipped, its spirit dulled. This bird represents those of us held down by limiting beliefs. For targeted individuals, the enemy keeps us entrapped psychologically by directing our attention towards their negative actions. Their actions take away our freedoms, go against any sense of justice, and keep us constantly on edge, trapped in their negative feedback loop. As the Buddha once said, watch your thoughts, for they become your words. Watch your words, for they become your actions. Since the gang stalkers want to control our thoughts and keep us focused on negativity, we need to flip the script. Take the case of Elizabeth Smart, who was kidnapped at the age of 14 but refused to let her captors define her reality. Despite the unimaginable trauma, she held on to her belief that she was more than her circumstances. Today, she is a renowned activist and author, using her experience to advocate for child safety and abduction recovery programs. Beliefs, as powerful as they are, can also be a double-edged sword. Manipulators can exploit them, twisting our strong convictions to their advantage. But remember, recognition is the first step towards protection. It is our beliefs and ideals like justice and privacy that the gang stalkers depend upon in order to keep us focused on their negative actions. They infringe upon these ideals fully, knowing that we will react negatively and spend our energy feeding them. Don't play their game. Don't give them the attention they seek. Focus your valuable time and energy into activities that will add value to your life and the lives of those around you. We all hold certain ideals close to our hearts. Freedom, justice, privacy, they are the pillars of our moral compass, but when we cling too tightly, they can blind us, leading to poor decision-making. Consider Martin Luther King Jr., a man who held these ideals high but understood the realities of life. He turned his ideals into positive action, leading one of the most significant civil rights movements in history. So. How can we, like Elizabeth Reham or Martin, navigate this complex landscape of beliefs and ideals? The answer lies in the power of an open mind. An open mind can help us break free from limiting beliefs, recognize manipulation, and turn our ideals into positive action. It allows us to see the world from different angles, to understand, to learn, and to grow. By keeping an open mind, we are less reactive, can understand the situation better, and less susceptible to manipulation. An open mind can help you empathize with others and understand their point of view. This can lead to positive outcomes for both parties where each person benefits from the interaction and has left a positive impact on the life of the other. So dear listeners, remember this, you are not defined by your circumstances. You are the author of your own story. Embrace an open mind, seek the truth and rely on your resilience. You have the power to transform your beliefs, your life and your world. So go forth and be triumphant.